Hi lovelies! Today I have my second video in my nail basic series for you. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint your nails on your non-dominant hand. So I'm a lefty so I normally paint on my right hand in my videos but today I switched up and I painted on my right for you guys. Unfortunately there's no special tip or rule that I can give you to make it 10 times easier but I am going to give you some tips and tricks that will help to make it easier. So if you want to see my tips and tricks and how to get this really cute design then just keep watching. Tip number one is use a steady surface. You don't want anything like your lap or a wobbly desk or even trying doing it in the car. Make sure your desk is very stable and that you anchor your hand very well to the table. Try not to lift it up and have it kind of above the table. Try and keep it on the table, steady as you can. Tip two is don't overload your brush. Too much polish will make things 10 times harder. So try and use as less polish as you need because that's going to work better. Yes, you might have to dip in a couple of times, but it's going to make things so much easier. Tip number three is to steady your painting hand. I do this by putting my pinky and my ring finger on the table. This helps you use your hand steadier and your lines will be a lot crisper. Put the brush between your pointer and your middle finger. No matter which way you angle your finger, you should be able to anchor it with those two fingers. Tip four is to thin your polish or paint. The thinner it is, the easier it is to work with makes crisper lines and even thinner lines so that you can make it a lot neater. So if you're using polish, you'll need nail polish thinner. And if you're using acrylic paint like I do, then you just need some water. Uh, I couldn't show you water in a cup, so I'm just showing you a water bottle, but you get the idea. Tip number five is you can always clean up a mistake. So if you make a mistake with polish, you can just use nail polish remover. And if you make a mistake with acrylic paint, you just use some water as well. Make sure that you have a nice, thin, small brush. These are really handy also. But again, if you make a mistake, it's pretty easy to clean up, so don't worry. Tip number six is slow down. Slow and steady wins the race with this. The slower you go, the more control you have over your brush. It, it makes everything 10 times easier. So try not to do nail art on a time constraint because you're just going to rush and it's going to look bad. So slow down, take your time, it'll look better that way. Tip number seven is use tape if you need it. So if you're doing something that needs crisp lines, tape works really well. Just make sure that you pull it off straight away after painting over top of it so that the lines are nice and crisp. It's so easy and so simple to use. Tip number eight is don't expect perfection. If you expect it to be perfect, you're gonna be disappointed. Things take time, so just take your time, understand that it's not gonna be perfect first go, and just love it. Love it no matter how quirky or stupid it looks. Sometimes bad things turn out really good. And tip number nine, my last tip is practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. You're not going to be able to get it first go. If you keep practicing, if you sit down one night and just do your non-dominant hair just to practice, this will help. It may be annoying that you don't get it perfect, but practice will make you even better. So get that brush out and practice, practice, practice. Now I'm going to show you how to get the design that I have on in this video. So let's go. The first thing first, 
as always, base coat. This is the number one thing for me. Then lay down two coats of your polish. I'm using Rimmel London's Don't Be Shy. Now taking a thin nail art brush and some black acrylic paint or black polish and some white acrylic paint or white polish, we want to start drawing the chevron design. So I started white, black, white, black and you just do a little triangle in the middle and then two triangles off to the side. If your nail is wider than mine, you should be able to fit more. I only can fit three because I have teeny tiny nails. As always, seal your design with a good quality top coat. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I really had to think hard about this one because there isn't really a set rule. I'm sorry, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this and I hope the tips were very helpful for you and that you like the design that I chose. If you do like my videos, give them a thumbs up and click subscribe. I'm trying to post really regularly. I also have a vlog channel now, which will be linked down below. So if you want to see what me and my partner get up to, subscribe to us over there. I hope you guys have a really great day. I love you all very much and I will see you all next time. Bye.